Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So for Happy Meal, I try to reduce the amount of time I have to run to the post office simply because I spend more at the post office, um, whereas I could do it from the convenience of my home and be able to input all that information, ship it out straight from home, and then just drop it off at the post office. Um, then I just have to make one trip. So got all this Happy Meal in the mail today. I'm not going to do all of this with you guys today, but I'm going to be working on that majority of the day. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do things. Um, when I'm inputting information. So first, we're gonna start at the workstation. We're gonna look at um, reporting as far as who all ordered from you last month. So like I told you guys in a previous video, I do all of my happy mail one time per month, which is typically the end of the month, and then I try to mail it out at the beginning of the following month. So I'm going to show you guys the report that I run. I'm gonna go back home and then show you guys what I do. Okay, let me clean this camera. Does that make things worse? I think so. Okay, Let's see if we can focus. Cool. So on here, and yes, I have zero PRV. We got to fight for it this month, guys. Um, but honestly, I haven't sent my happy mail out yet, and I've been focused on a lot of things with you guys. So I am harboring it on that this weekend. So that will change very soon. Um, but anyhow, reporting. So you're going to go to reporting. You're going to go to my performance. Okay. I'm going to wait for that to load. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to go over here where it says downline reports. And we're going to hit my personal volumes by order. And it's going to pop up this month, but we don't want this month. I want to do everything for January because that's when my customers ordered. So now it's going to give me all of the people who ordered from me last month right here. And then when I need to, what I'll do is once that happy email, once one of the my customers happy mail comes up, I'm gonna look for their name on this report. See, I write their name here because I have handwritten notes in here. I write their name here and then I'll go through and look, click on the order number and then it'll tell me their address. So I'll plug that into Pirate Chip and then it'll tell me their email. I'll also include their email in there so I can send like an email that says your happy mail is on its way. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of how I do the reporting on Sensi. Um, if you're just now popping on, catch the replay at the uh, beginning and I'll show you how I get to this report. Um, but now I have my food scale. Again, this was like maybe $10, $15 on Amazon. It was super inexpensive. Um, and then you, I just zero it out. Make sure it's calibrated. And then make sure it's on pounds and ounces. And then what I do is I take this and I just plop it on there. It tells me that the weight is 2.3. And that's pretty consistent. I moved it around 2.3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the ounces, just like three ounces, just in case my skill is a little bit off. So I'll do 2.6 or you can do 2.5, whatever you want to do. And I will I'll show you pirate chip. So you go here to Pirate Ship, you hit create a single label, okay? This is where you're going to enter your customer's demographics. So their email, their name, address, city, state, zip, okay? And then um, I don't typically include the phone or the company, but if they have an apartment, this is where you would plug that in there. And then down here, I go to... Um, nope, I don't have any safe packages. Excuse me, ignore that part. I go down here and I'm using what's called a padded envelope or poly mailer. So this is a poly bag or poly mailer. So I will switch this to a padded envelope and then I will enter my dimensions. Now I know this is a nine by six. Yes, nine by six. And we said it was two and a half ounces because that's what the scale said. And then we're going to hit get rates. Oh, of course, I have to plug in information. Hold on. Let me find this customer real quick. Plug this in and I'll show you exactly how much it's going to be. So this one. I'm going to look for the customer's name on the reporting. Where are you at? There you are. 
And I'm just gonna copy and paste straight to the other website. That's all I'm gonna do. Copy, paste, and then enter her name. I wish there was a way that I could show you guys like my screen as I'm doing it, but I also don't wanna give up too much customer information for privacy reasons. Then I'm gonna plug her email in. I do send emails, like I said, for the sake of like your shipping or your happy meal is coming. Ah, I didn't wanna do that. This is real life, y'all. Always real life. Okay, so we're gonna hit copy. Go over here and paste it. Okay, now that I've plugged that in, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Show you here what it looks like again we said this is a padded envelope my package is nine by six and if you order your packages off amazon amazon will tell you what they look or what the size is so you just need to go by what amazon says or whatever your um the place that you ordered it says and then my weight is here and then you're gonna go down and you're gonna hit get rates okay it's gonna tell you and let me make sure it's not showing any valuable information real quick okay it tells me here that it's $3.59 to ship that, and that means that it's going to arrive. Estimated delivery is Monday, which is a really good delivery date. Um, and then you can also pick here if you wanted to get there faster. There's different rates, but I typically like to pick the cheapest rate um, just because that's the best option. And then I go over here. I do want it to email her. Oops. I do want it to email her. And then I have some templates already set up. So fall catalog is on its way. I do need to set that up for the new spring catalog, a sample pack or happy mail. I usually just do happy mail and then you can hit buy label. And then what you can do is just either attach your card to pirate chip and have it come out of your um, account. Typically what I like to do is I will put a balance on the account. So that way it just takes from the balance and it's not charging my card multiple times. Um, but then that's what I'll do. And then what will happen is it'll print. I need to make sure that this, um, happy mail on its way email is correct. But, um, then what it'll really do is it'll, you'll be able to print it. You'll just select the button that you want to print it and you print it and it will print on these labels. It will print on these labels and they're sticker labels. And then all you have to do is slap that sticker label on the back, drop it off at the post office and you're good to go. So it's super simple, super simple, very convenient, very easy. Um, that's the way that I do it. A lot of other people have like little machines, fancy little machines, but I don't have any fancy little machines. I just have my uh, printer, which is what most people have. And um, I ordered these little half sh sticker sheets from Amazon. So they are um, shipping they're shipping labels and they come to 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 a sheet yeah so i just wanted to share that with you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or anything has popped up that you're not quite sure what to do about um let me know and i'm happy to help you um i don't know that you guys need help unless you ask me but again i hope this helps and makes your life a little bit more convenient when you're shipping out that happy meal